Well, what are we fixing today? We are fixing that as at least one of the things. We'll see what else we get to. I have another job in the basement. I think that one's going to fit. That's going to involve the saw of death. So stay tuned for the saw of death. Anyway, this is a light that I think my parents put in here when they added this place uh, 25 years ago. I'm sure they got it at an auction because it's weird. Well, it's weird. So we're going to change it. We found something that's to the boss's taste. It has little lights in it and it's shiny and stuff. So, And we picked it up at a uh, citywide rummage sale in uh, Peshtigo I talked about in the last video. So. This is another treasure we found. Let's look at it. Here it is. I have already stripped the bulbs out of it. Oh, it is, sorry for the thing. I just wanted to give you a close up of it. It's got some wood. It's got some globes. Um, I'm just gonna take it apart and take it down and I'll show you all that and I'll show you putting up the other one. So let's get you situated. All right, now I realize it's a little dark in here. I got all the lights I could, as high as I could. This light supplies a lot of the light for this area. I'm going to take all the globes out. I already have the bulbs out. Because one of the, uh, one of the projects this week was Taking all the incandescent lights out, the 60 watt uh, room heaters, and installing LEDs. So these I just took out because I knew it was going away. I got a tool. This tool is from Menards. So we're going to see if it works. Try to keep myself from dying. Voltage tester. Because I don't know what breaker controls that, and most likely the breakers in here are all kind of connected together. So I know at this point, if I turn the switch on, I won't get light, but I should get Pinky power. Because there's power here in this wire. So, that I expected. I'm going to turn the switch off. Let's see if it goes away. Alright, so it seems dead when this is like this. I'm going to open up the box and make sure that it's dead up there as well. I'm not sure if it's supported by this plate or by something inside. Looks like by the plate. Alright. Too many, many. Let's go in here with the gun again. This is testing dead. Should be safe. I wish I had a lockout for that switch on the wall, but I don't. Since it's only me and my wife here, uh, she's working in the other room because she's afraid of the camera. So I think I'm safe-ish. But remember, use lockout. So this can go. We'll clean it up and we're going to a flea market tomorrow, so that's going to the flea market. Alright, this is the replacement light. Glass panels, the light thing inside. Alright, this seems like, okay. I should be able to screw that up there instead of that plate. Uh, 
Yep. That gets screwed up there. But it does appear that the amount of chain they have here matches that. And this would be too low, but I'm going to leave that. And the reason is, I'm going to then just take a hook and just hook it back on itself to wherever I want it. And if we need it low for some reason, we can just unhook it. So that's good. This is ridiculously long. This is still ridiculously long. Within reason. Next, get those screws out. you now I knew I would have to strip those wires why oh why did I not strip them when I had them down here in my hand rather than up there in the ceiling uh, I don't know because I like reaching over my head see twisty now, which wire is which? Sometimes they got one that they want you to do earth-ish. Oh yeah, there's a difference. One of them is more silvery than the other. The silverier one should be the white one. Oh, okay. Time has passed. It's a good idea to check. So I'm going to take the one that I think is going to go to common, I'm going to bend it back, and I'm going to find my skiddly doodler tester tool. There it is. These are all still dead. I want to bend back is what I said I wanted to go to. Rappy, rappy, make it happy. Put this in. Make sure you turn it until it gets good and tight. If it breaks over, it breaks loose. You need a new wire nut. Give it a pull, it should be good. The ground wire just needs to be connected to itself. Although a wire nut would be good, but I don't think I had one here. So, let's give it a bunch of good wraps. Let's stuff this way up in the back of the box. Power wire is a little bit less at the back of the box, more in the front of the box, probably. I also like to keep the wire nuts up if I can. That way, if any water or anything drips in them, 
it kind of acts like a roof. So I try to, whenever I do this, I try to put them up there. If there's room, vertical. I don't know if that helps, but there's the thing that says I can't do it. And there's a logical reason I have for it. So let's just go with it. Stuff this up behind like so. There should be plenty of room. Now this and the nut is right here. Right. Takes two hands to handle the lopper. Uh, that's what my buddy at work used to say. Of course, I don't think he was talking about this. But he was a he was an ass, you know. Good and solid. Now let's see if it works. It works. All the little LEDs around in there. It's not quite straight. We can do that. Here I have a hook. So how high do you want this? You can stay off camera if you want, but how high do you want it? It's kind of low. Talk to me. Go up. Go up. There. I'm thinking. There? Sure. Look at how it's adjusted. It's way lighter. Cut better bulbs. Well, it's more clear of, too. More of them. It has a big brown thing in the middle of the room. It looks like it came from a lumber mill. It's a little cleaning, but that's just dust. Well, that was easy. Definitely time for something else. We got another job in the not so creepy basement with the man eater death machine. Let's go. Okay, basement time. The next thing we're going to do is, in a, is a honeydew. This is the honeydew that we skipped on the last one that I didn't have time for, I didn't think, because a half hour was long enough. So let's look at what that's going to entail. So this is a drawer. It's a drawer from the china cabinet. I don't know if you saw the china cabinet when we were upstairs, but it's right underneath that light I just put in. She wants to use this for silverware. She wants me to make dividers for this. She has marks on the bottom. So I need oh, glue, look at that. One, two, three, four. I need four vertical lines in there of wood. I can't go higher than this. And they have to be like mounted in there. So what I found is this piece of scrap cedar. This is a cut off from uh, my dad had some two bys made. This is a, you know, so this is a cut off from the edge of a log. But I think I can get two cuts out of this. And out of that, I should have enough for that. If it isn't quite perfect on the top, then it isn't quite perfect on the top. Yeah. You know it is what it is it's up north and it's going to be cool i just got to figure out how wide to cut these put it on the saw of death i'll use the iffy iffy come and kill me 
Defense of Death. And we'll use Defense to cut the wood. Ready? So let's just say it's there. We're going to measure from here to the outer edge. And it's right on 11. So this one should be... Let's lock this. 11 and maybe a 16th. This one should be 11. Eleven, eleven and a sixteen. Then we tighten it. No movie. All right. So we're gonna make some pushers too. The saw is live. Now I can adjust this sort of. But not really. So the depth is kind of stuck. So I gotta deal with that's why it's a saw of depth. It doesn't really adjust. I can I'm not gonna do it now because it's plugged in, but I can do things. But what I'm gonna do is cut notches out of these, cut this in half, cut notches out of them, and use them as push throughs. Alright. Death saw on. stand to the side because if it throws it's going to hit me in the balls so we don't want that Death off. This is the piece that I cut out of there. It is indeed just slightly over half an inch. And in here, that's going to look nice. All right. This is cedar now. This will cut pretty easy, and that is actually a new blade. I'm looking, and I'm not putting my fingers there, but I am above here, so that should work that way. Seems pretty solid. Death on. Smells just like um, sharpening pencils. It's awesome. That's uh, white cedar. Death execution completed. No deaths today. 
All right, four pieces. I'll get these mounted in here. Five times four is 20. Four, 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 four. All right, I think I get the idea. Okay. This is to hold the nails if I need to. Oh, so I'm one inch white paneling nails. Should work fine for this. Come in through here or through the bottom. Let's start with some glue. It's like paper in the bottom here. I think I'm gonna stick to that. Just gonna ignore it. Just go with it. And I'm gonna glue the bottom of this. Hopefully, some glue holds it. Maybe a little bit on. Oh, I don't want to go here. And the reason is because I got to come in at an angle. And I stuck my fingers in the glue. Okay. Okay. Awesome. There. What's there? Now I got this awesome table from guess where? There. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yes! It was five dollars at somebody's rummage. In Pestigo this weekend. This week. We're gonna do some tappy tap tap. A little bit flat. Yeah. And if I were smart, I would measure back here. That is needs another one just because I had one kind of was there was no meat there. I have to put one in. Clean up because we got some drips. And that will do the job. Oh, a couple other issues. I'll fix this as long as we're here. Drawer done. Well, two jobs for today. Got dividers in this drawer as the end of the honeydew list. And actually that light was also on the honeydew list. So this is a honeydew too. Do too. 
two little bigger jobs that just took me about an hour. So, you know, not as efficient as last time, but, you know, at least this time I can count to two. When last time I kind of missed number five, I think. I noticed that <laughs> in the editing. I, I thought maybe when I was uh, like this, I said six. I don't think, oh, never mind. Watch the last video and you'll know what I'm talking about. <sighs> well, that's it for today. Give me a like if you thought I did a good job here. Mm, the cedar smells awesome. This is going to be a perfect thing for that drawer. Uh, subscribe. Watch my stuff. Links down in the bottom for other stuff, ways you can help. Spread the word. If you think I'm nuts, then tell everybody, because then they'll watch. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh, let's look at this. Yes. You, you know, tell everybody about the awesome lake access. Let me look over that way. And you know what? I haven't had the boat out. I have a fishing license this year and didn't use it yet. I got about a week left. Yeah, I'm still in here fixing shit. <laughs> I do got a cool video in mind. Has anybody, anybody out there ever hunted worms, nightcrawlers, in your own lawn without digging up your lawn? I'm thinking about doing that. We'll see. Um, I'm supposed to rain Sunday, so maybe after Sunday. All right. So remember, if your honeydew has stuff on your list and you didn't get it done the first time, Make sure you finish it within a couple days or the list will just keep getting bigger. Bye.